Hey, I'm Jordan Anderson. And I'm Tita Brizzato. And this is... I'm Avery Anderson. And what's your name, buddy? Quinn. Quinn. This is Quinn. I'd say our, our family lifestyle is outdoor focused. Um, travel's a big part of it and travel before kids used to mean something very different than it does after kids. Uh, before kids, it was up in the mountains and after kids, we found ourselves in provincial parks and state parks and realized it was time to get a trailer. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'd say our, our lifestyle started with um, moving into a tent and hauling all the gear in the back of the truck and realizing that didn't work. We started with our first version of a trailer, um, which was an awesome yellow color, but beyond that didn't work very well. Uh, and so we sold that after a year and a half and did a bunch of research, sort of knowing what we wanted and what we didn't want and landed on, uh, on the escape that we've got now. And, um, and have been using that to facilitate the lifestyle. I would say, uh, we get out maybe 60 days a year or something like that. Uh, on sort of ad hoc weekend style trips and then we try to do one or two longer trips as well each year as much as work will allow and you now these kids you school you want to stop doing this what do you want to do instead this one go on, on the paddleboard and then run off the back there's our family lifestyle going on the paddleboard and okay. running off the back Okay. Me too. I want a cannonball off the back of the speedboard. Where's my goggles? <laughs> so, there you go. Oh, the paddleboard in the leg. How would you characterize our lifestyle? Uh, yeah, a lot of time out, outdoors, biking, hiking, camping, um, just being outside as much as possible. Yeah, and family time together. That's the other big one. Why don't you start? Um, well, we did a lot of research on various trailers and we were looking at quality, size, uh, what we thought our needs would be as a family of four. Um, having a bathroom was a huge one for me. I wanted a trailer that had a bathroom and just something that had a lot, enough space for uh, the four of us and that would be long lasting. I wanted something that wouldn't leak that was high enough to drag along uh, bumpy roads, uh, take on the Dempster Highway up uh, north of the Arctic Circle. Um, I wanted something that, that would last. Um, we had a couple of missteps with our first trailer. Uh, and so we learned, in addition to the outside, what we needed inside in terms of space, not big was critical, but not too small was also critical. Uh, somewhere between camper van and giant motorhome. Um, and so that was, that narrowed it down. That, that there were a few options in that field. Uh, then we were looking for uh, the right combination for us around solar. We don't have air conditioning because we're not camped in places where you can plug in very often. Um, the right fridge size, uh, critical with two little ones. So those sorts of features as well kind of came into play. Um, I think in, in narrowing the search anyways. Fairly recent one was last summer. We um, went up uh, just north of Campbell River to Sayward Canoe Route, and we spent a week completely off grid, uh, just hanging out at a lake, paddleboarding. The trailer worked worked so well for that entire week that we were there. That would just be an example of one of the smaller, smaller little getaways that we've done, um, and. As well, we've done six, six months living in the trailer when these guys were one and three years old. And we went all the way through the Rockies, Northern BC, and to the Yukon. So that was kind of the, one of our larger adventures, but uh, we've had many smaller adventures as well. Yeah, it's, it's being able to pull out of the driveway on the weekend and go camping for two days um, and being able to load the trailer and go for half a year. That's, uh, that, 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 so there, there's highlights in between. Um, I think for me, one of the most memorable nights was dragging the trailer up a really remote road in northern BC that some people in, uh, in camper vans had set up for us and said, oh, you've got to go and check this out. 
Um, and these are big jacked up kind of four by four rigs. And I looked at the trailer and thought, yeah, sure we can do it. Why not? Right? So we put the truck in four by four and pulled it up. And uh, this four kilometer road took us, I don't know, two hours or something, three day. hours to drive up. A it should have been holes. 15 minutes. But, but we ended up on this riverbed, waterfalls, steep mountains up above nobody around uh you know so far from the nearest cell coverage or anything else and it's those kinds of experiences like the weather is perfect the kids are happy um that's the kind of adventure that stands out for yeah, me they're playing outside the whole time and yeah i think the the trailer itself we were looking for something that worked for our family and and for us for for Tita and myself having a trailer is really um, a piece of the puzzle in um, in having young kids if, if frankly if we didn't have young kids we'd probably have a different approach uh, so we were looking for something where durability on the outside so this is the waterproof uh, you know high axle lift that kind of stuff uh, worked but also something on the inside that would work. And we've had to tweak a little bit here and there to make sure our one-year-old doesn't crawl through the screen door, that kind of stuff. Um, but in general, the durability of the wood cabinets and whatnot um, has, been, has been pretty strong. Well, thanks. Thanks for that, buddy. I don't know what that is. I wouldn't need it. I think other family-friendly features, I mean, there's, there's a cot. Um, and the sleeping in the in the 19 that we've got is is one that works reasonably well and is constantly evolving we, so yeah yeah I mean, i'll started, go ahead we, we started off with um quinn in a pack and play on the bed on half of the bed and avery on the other half of the bed and then we moved to Avery sleeping on the floor and Quinn just sleeping on the table bed. And now Avery's on the table bed. Quinn's kind of with us and sometimes with Avery. So it's, there's just the configuration is, is continually changing. The next stop on the tour is going to be the cot um, for Avery once he's, he's a little bit bigger. And so it's, it's that You're kind of to that, kind right? of evolution. As yeah. I said, the, probably the biggest family feature though is, is the size. It's big enough that on a rain day, you can pack around the table, you can do arts and crafts, um, you can really live inside the trailer, but it's also tiny enough to fit in a residential driveway, zip along on the highway and be pulled on some pretty remote gravel roads without being a big rig. So that's, it's the sweet spot, I would say.